And down the phone! Video starts at 1417! Feeding time! Feed me more! Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback. Today, I am, uh, this morning, actually, we're doing a breakfast. Breakfast with the big guy. <laughs> On my, uh, this nice, lovely Sunday. And I'm, uh, gonna do a big workout later. We've got a lot going on here. I got my, we got the new Feed Me More Nutrition shaker bottles in, these nice shaker bottles, guys. And, uh, I got my wake up unlimited energy I always do every morning. Woo! The, uh, I've uh, washed my hands. I postmate, postmates this, postmated, postmate, yeah, postmated this. Carl's Jr. breakfast, guys. We got the Beyond Meat breakfast burrito, Beyond Sausage breakfast burrito, and we got tater tots. I'm gonna wait. This is like my cheat day, to, not my day, but I don't, my cheat meal, and I'll probably, I tend to, what I do is I knock out quite a bit of videos on Sunday now. The great Lord says rest on Sunday. The motherfucking big guy works. Always doing something. But these are fun. Entertainment and hard times. Um, I'm not hungover. I'm not drunk or anything of that nature. The fucking text messages are starting already. Four text messages. Seven something in the morning. For the love of fuck. Sunday. It's a day of rest. Leave me the fuck alone. Uh, anyways, guys. We got this. We're going to... I can't stop putting them in my mouth. They, uh... Got to do a big workout. Hope everybody's taking precautions out there, guys. I washed my hands. I opened everything up. I went and washed my hands. I was going to spray Lysol on all this, but my tater tots would have got affected. So, but I'm pretty much self-isolating anyways. I've been preparing for this moment for the last three and a half years since I've been hurt. My entire life has become isolation of running my businesses and working and taking care of Sophia and the dogs. But there's a lot more on that we can talk about. I got my home gym. I stopped going to the gym. I don't go to Starbucks anymore. I make my, my coffee. I limit my interaction. So, just doing my part. That probably wasn't, but I washed my hands already. But whoever touched this breakfast burrito. All right. Mmm. I'm stocked up on food too. I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions of all this. What's going on? But ultimately, trying to gain control over a situation is the only way you can look at it. It's too early to look at it any other way. The people that are sick have weak immune systems, the elderly. I guarantee you guys that if we're lucky enough to live to be 70, 80, 90 years old, 60 years old, 
We wouldn't want everyone just to say, fuck you, you're old, we don't give a shit about you. I think that's a real reflection of our, our generation and what's going on. And I promise you, if we do that, it's going to come back and it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to us. So we give it some time to let things get figured out and take precautions as much as we can. Hospitals and all that stuff can't handle high amounts of traffic coming in. And even though a lot of us are going to be fine, there's a lot of people that won't. you got to imagine if you had a sick mother and father you took care of, maybe. And you're going out to the clubs and fucking grinding up on, on Lakeisha. And coming home and you got the fucking, and that's just a ex random example of something that could happen in Vegas. Then you give your parents the, the virus. You know, you got to think about stuff like that. I have a feeling the restrictions are going to become a lot tighter on a lot of things going on very soon. Very soon. My mother just had to fly back. Took her to the airport last night, got her a ticket. Her mother, unfortunately, my grandma, is, uh, she's uh, going to, she's 87 but she's, they're going to have to pull the plug on her. Not from the virus. She had a stroke and uh, blood clot in her brain. They had to take out and she's not recovering all that well. So very unfortunate. So, but I didn't want my mom flying during all this, but I know she had to go back and stay here, take care of the dogs. A little Sophie, she can't be boarded or anything. So. Just got to gotta be careful. Everything going on. All right. I need more information. I have a booger in my nose? I felt like I had a booger in my nose. There's nothing worse. Not a date. I feel like you got a booger in your nose. Oh, I tell you, what a horrible, horrible feeling. And you're trying to like talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. They just get better and better. But I stocked up. I got a normal amount of toilet paper. I Amazoned a lot of stuff. I Instacarted and Amazon. I didn't have to go into any of that mess. I did try to get some Beyond Meat Burger stuff, and they're all out of it. So I might have to go to the store to try to get some more of that. But got a bunch of rice, organic rice, beans, black beans. I bought a bunch of mixed nuts. Ordered a bunch of my ISO Hungry Feed Me More Nutrition Protein Powders, which we're doing 25% off that for you guys. We're going to keep that going so people can buy proteins a little more affordable. Even though they're, they're the highest quality, we're not making a lot on them. So that's why I figured I'd just discount those 25% at least for all of March until we figure out what's going on. I legit, I ordered six of them. And I'm probably going to order, I'm going to kind of wait and see. Probably order some more. Got a bunch of ramen noodles. Got some frozen food. I also got a lot of guns, so if shit does get bad, you try to come here. And we perched up there with those Sophie and little guy on each side. The shotgun, AK-16. I think it's an AK-16. Should probably known that. 45, 22. A lot of ammo. A lot of ammo. I'm a horrible shot too, so chances are I'll shoot you in the dick up by accident. Then I'll hit you in the face. So take the chances, guys. I'm actually a decent shot. I've gone to the range enough. I probably would shoot you in the dick though, but that would be just for uh, my sheer enjoyment. Uh, I'm 
mm, a lot of places coming out with it. I think the Beyond Meat, the Beyond Chicken, this is a new craze. I'm really hoping to land a deal. Now, I could this is I can get behind one of these with one of the fast food places. I never would want to do anything with a fast food. I always liked El Pollo Loco because they had healthy options. And there we got a video coming up, their chickenless chicken burrito. Holy hell, it was amazing. So are these. Be the face of one of these beyond meat or chicken things. Just me on your TV. Feel like I'm the perfect spokesman. Big muscled up guy that people, my fucking theme song was meat on the table and here I am, vegetarian. Fucking Jack! I couldn't say fuck it on TV, though. I know that. I've done it for many years. Feed me more. Feed me more. Ah, hash browns make me happy. Make my big guy heart happy. I got to do, I'm not going to the gym anymore. Luckily, I have my own gym. I'm opening it up to Vegas females, though. We have Lysol in there. Men are $99 a day. Call it 100 You want to come work out with the big guy. Females work out for free. Feed me more fitness. Because gyms are going to close, I have a feeling, eventually. I really, really think it's going to get to that. I hope it doesn't. But the direction it's going is things are shutting down. How long can the economy and the world sustain that? Not long. That's why I think we should, we all have to be as careful as we can. Because when you're told to do something, you got to do it. Otherwise, it, it turns sour real quick. The situation sucks for everybody, but I think we got to, I don't know, until we have more information, I think you go with the flow and you, you do your best. I'll tell you what, though, if we get, we have to stay quarantined in our houses, if it comes to that, I'm growing my hair out. I'm growing my beard. I'm going to be on YouTube daily. Jesus Ryback, just talking to you guys, live videos, I've stuck up on hard liquor, I'll get all my stuff done, I'll get all my workout, oh, if I'm the business, everything is still un unaffected with the mail, which looks like that's all going to be fine, I'm going to go hard on the paint on YouTube. All right. Was that my stomach? I think my stomach's still hungry. Saying, feed me more, big guy. All right, done. <clears throat> Not a Corona cough. That was an eating cough. Easy, shut the fuck up, everyone. Jeffrey, shut the fuck up. Oh, the big guy's a Corona. All right. Also, guys, these might be come in handy. I didn't know they had solar phone chargers. This is for if everything, everyone gets locked at home. My mom's a real thinker. And then the world is coming to an end and the grid goes down and we lose power. I got, I got three of these bad boys. They just charge right from my window with the sun. That way I could still work on my phone while the world is going to complete fucking meltdown mode. All right. My review, shut the fuck up and reveal the phone. Video starts at 1417. I love triggering people, if you guys have noticed. Because I, I had a girl message me the other day and uh, that watches the videos. 
and she just laughs. She goes, I love how you, uh, you don't give a fuck what people think. I go, I never have and I never will. As far as that goes, like the negative things like that. Not once have I gone to bed like, man, fucking Jeffrey really fucking got to me this afternoon. Fuck. No, I take my GTS and I am out and I sleep like a baby every night because I don't have any anxiety, any worries. But through the meditation. All right, let's get to the review, guys. Um, the Carl's Jr. Beyond Soft Sausage Breakfast Burritos. Phenomenal. You guys know me. Um, I'm very positive on my reviews. I will say I, po I did the Postmates thing again. And um, so the food was not as, as hot as I would have liked it. Uh, that Which is, again, can't. That's me. I got to hold myself accountable for being a lazy piece of shit. And not wanting to put the dogs in their cages. And also me, me being caring and I want to put them in their cages. And drive six, seven minutes down the road to Carl's Jr. Um, so uh, you, you get what you get. And the Postmates girl was really confused. She t uh, called me multiple times for my address. Which it was in the thing. And I text her through the app. And the Postmates thing is now not sending the text to the drivers I've noticed the last few times. I don't know what's going on with Postmates. I'm really... I know 17 people are going to say to use every other food app there is. I use Postmates, guys. It's what it's on my phone. And I'm just quite fr frankly not putting another one on there. I'm giving this one four stars, though. Four stars out of five. Four stars. And uh, I think I'm going to give it a thumb and a semi. Thumb and a semi. I don't think I've given one of those yet. I've always, I think, given two thumbs up. I think the McShits, those McRibs got two thumbs down, if I'm not mistaken. But this is, uh, yeah, yeah, thumb and a semi. I'm happy with that decision. It's like one and a half thumbs. Um, the, the tater tots, the little hash browns things were, um, those were cold too, but they were good. I'm not, that's just... They can't come hot from the time they make them. And the Postmates girl didn't, got confused and took an extra 30 minutes. Stuff happens. It, it, at the end of the day, I just want the energy in my body to do a little review to talk to my my people. And uh, here we are, guys. So that's the review. I thank you guys very much for watching. I am your host, the big guy, Ryback. Right Let's stay smart. Stay okay. That's that. Okay. Let's fuck it. That's just asking too much for some people. Let's try to stay healthy. And uh, be good human beings. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens with everything. But uh, keep a positive outlook. Don't watch the news. But shit. We'll figure you can get your information online and, and stop. Even that, you got to be very careful. Of, um, very careful on all of it. So, all right, guys. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.